So it's a new year, but we're seeing one same controversy that had many New Mexicans questioning the government last year. Yeah, it's another round of killing feral cows by shooting them from a helicopter in the Gila National Forest, and it's set to happen next month. And some of the same people who rejected the idea last year are fighting the same fight now. Lauren Green joins us with what we know about this new plan here, Lauren. Yeah, Tessa, after a lawsuit was settled with the New Mexico Cattle Growers Association last July, the government has to give 75 days notice and be open to public input before they kill these feral cows again. And today's the last day for people to give any comment before they pre prepare for another round of all of this. We oppose as an organization the aerial gunning or the lethal removal of those cattle from that area. Uh, we believe, believe there's more humane ways to uh, solve the problem. Lauren Patterson, the president of the Cattle Growers Association, is no stranger to the situation going on in the Gila National Forest, and it's still trying to find some change. Last year, the U.S. Forest Service recognized there were too many fair cattle in the Gila, an issue they say has been there since the 1970s. In February, they performed their first round of killings, shooting a total of 65 cows from the air. Some of those animals ended up in the Gila River, injured and, and died in the actual Gila River. Some of them were shot multiple times and took days, if not hours, to, to pass away. And so it's just an inhumane way. After the New Mexico Cattle Growers Association settled a lawsuit with the U.S. Forest Services last July, the government has to give 75 days notice before they remove these cows and allow for the public to weigh in, too. We do hope that there'll be enough public support against that program that maybe we can come back to the drawing board. The excess amount of wild cows has been a problem for nearly 50 years, but Patterson believes there's better ways of making a more permanent change. We know that those animals don't need to be in there. Patterson knows feral cows are a problem for everyone. He just believes there's better ways to solve this issue. We also believe that this aerial gunning program, just like last year, will just be a population control, but doesn't solve the problems associated with those feral cattle. We want those animals removed in a humane way. So the Gila National Forest told us today that there are about 50 to 100 feral cows in the forest right now. And Patterson believes one of the issues that could fix this problem relating to overpopulation is actually the structure of the outer fences where many wild animals cross through. Back to you.